vehicle galore out here. Look at that. Sounder, Mackie's galore. So, let's get stuck into it. It was a terrible run out here. Terrible run. The um, weather guys just do not. Look at all those guys over there, over here. The weather, the weather apps just do not get it right, hey? So, uh, let's get back on drift. Back into the wind. I apologize about the wind and the slot, but it's probably going to be windy and sloppy the first, I don't know, couple of hours here, I guess. Uh, if it does what it's usually going to do and it drops out, so we'll just see what happens. Go a bit downwind here. We're going to drift back that way, so just go down here, drift back through it, through all that. Got a lure in the water. Get a jig down there. 100 gram jig. Bombs away. Looks like we're going to be drifting faster. Oh, there's some fishies down there. Squigglies. Oh, snipped. Snippies. Straight up with a snip. I'm 100 and 130 pounds. Straight through it like nothing. Absolutely no load up at all. Snip, straight up. I might as well just throw this in the ocean right now. Snippage. Heaps of mackerel. Big snips coming up. Coming your way, snippies. Oh, we're going up the boat here. Big sloppage. Big slop. There they are. Look at that on the sound. Oh, we're a bit under the boat here. How do they know to eat it, eh? There's one, yep. There's one, there we go. There we go. I don't know what that mackerel. Oh, sharking, sharking. Shark up him. Oh, shark. Oh, sharks. Oh, I hate sharks, eh? Ah, oh, came in. Get him up here. Oh, I hate sharks. Oh, shark. Oh, fucking sharks. Come here. Oh, fucking sharks. He's under the boat. Oh, Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Got away from the sharks. <laughs> nice. Come on, Spanish. Jigging up some Spanish. Come on, Spanish. Some illegal, I think. He's illegal. He's a legal one. Oh no! That's why you're using. Oh, he got through my hook. <sighs> why are you using net? <sighs> right at the boat. Massive assist cord. If you go through that one, I'll be very. Very, very surprised if they go through that. Oh, big air, airstrike mackerel. Got it there where that airstrike was. And it's scattered through here. Out here. There's one. Oh, missed it. How did he miss it? How did he miss it? That's what I want, right? Oh, me! Snipples! Just snipples all the time. Just full snips. It's a joke. What do you do? 
Try to try this one. Put a bit of wire on it. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Took me by surprise. A good one too. Bloody good one. Waiting for snippies. No snippies, please. Over the back here. Bring him around. No sharks. No snips. Thank you very much, Lee. No sharks, no snipples. Please and thank you. Oh, yes. Good Spanish. Good Spanish. Sharks up him. No sharky. No sharks. Oh, he's on top. He's away from the shore. Sharks following him. Sharks following him. Oh, the camera. Bloody cameras today, I tell ya. Hey? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's an alright one too. It's Spanish. Oh, quick shark. He's gonna go under the boat. Come here. Come here, I got ya. I've got this one. That's what you need is the net, Drew, but... Spanish! <laughs> what you got there? That's four jigs worth of Spanish. <laughs> oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. Sorry, buddy, but you're going in the esky. <laughs> oh, good shit. Good shit. Very, very good, that one. Woo! Settle down, mate. Settle down. Settle down. We'll be right in there for... Not a bad problem to have, like when your esky's too small or your fish is too big for your esky. Great, great problem to have, eh? <laughs> Did that not record? That is so fucking shit. What's wrong with you? There you guys, shaking that ass, shaking. Oh, fucking joking. Yeah, took me, took me, took me, took me. Yeah, gone, 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 gone. Everything's got to go, sale. Big snips again. Oh, stop it. Big snips again. Oh, I'm just past the point of being angry now. Like, <laughs> I just, I'm just like, what the hell? What can you do, man? Eh? Oh, straight away. Come on. Very good. Very good fish. Very big bendies. Come on up. Oh, that's heavy, man. That is heavy. Don't get sharked. That's extremely heavy. It's feeling a little sharked now. It hit me right on the bottom. It's coming up to the top. That's feeling very sharked at the moment. Feeling very shocked. Feels sh dead now. Feels like it's dead. <laughs> half dead, half shocked, probably. Whatever it is, it's half shocked. Yeah, half shocked. Oh, fully shocked. What was it? Oh, fuck, look at the sharks. It was a bludger trevally. Look at the GT after it. Holy shit. It was a bludger trevally. Look at the sharks, man. Holy demon. Look at that big boy. Get out of it, you shark bastard. <laughs> Woo, look at the GT. Look at the size of that GT. Big GT up here with the sharks. Holy shit. You wouldn't want to fall in, would you? 
Look at the GT. Look at the size of that GT. Swimming around with the sharks. Look at that GT up here. That's awesome. Look at it. Look at the sharks. Don't fall in, eh? Look at the GTs. That's amazing. They're gone now. No, here comes the GT here. Look. Look at that. Can you see that? Big black. No use fishing here anymore, is there? Everything followed that up. Here comes the other bullies. Yeah, that, there's the GT there. Big black GT. Just GTs now, look. <laughs> oh, here comes the shark. Ooh, jigging a, jigging a trevally head. <laughs> Big clickbait, eh? <laughs> Big clickbait. Release this fella and uh, that many sharks hanging around, I think. That's kind of... Oh, that sucks. So gross. Time to... Time to move on, I think. If that's the case. Get out of it. Oh, look at the shit on me boat now. Yeah, sharks are being fed. Time to go, I think. Shark, he's, yeah, he's into the head. Oh, finish it off, mate. You might as well. You might as well, mate. Finish her off. That's probably a sign to head home and fill that one fish that I did land today and have a bit of something to eat, a bit of a cook up. So, do that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take off now. It's very, very windy, very choppy. So, gonna bang it back into there. Probably won't do a lot of filming with it, but I'll see you back at the, look at this lens, it's all over the shop. I'll see you back at the, uh, back at the shop, back at the, back at home base. Look at this spot. This is this is actually pretty special right down at the beach. So um, yeah, we're down on the beach in a car park and I'm about to cook probably the most amazing, I know everybody says that, it's the most amazing way to catch and cook, but I think this is very different. Not that there's anything wrong with fish wraps or like, you know, crumb fish or grilled fish. It's just, you're just always looking for something different because you're cooking out of the back of your ute and on a barbecue, you, you feel a little limited. So my mate, who's a chef, very handy on the pots and pans, st steered me in this direction, and it's absolutely amazing. So um, stay tuned, I promise you've not seen this before. I promise you, I promise, not clickbait. <laughs> so we've got some spinach, we've got cherry tomatoes, we've got uh, lemon, so we'll get all this out. Uh, we've got some herbs, and we've got some garlic. And then we just got some butter, which we will need in a minute. And um, so anyways, yeah, without giving too much away, it's very, very simple. That is very, very simple. And all we're missing here is the fish and the butter. And this is all we're sort of using, pretty simple stuff. All right, first things first, I like to get a big piece of baking paper, parchment paper, whatever you want to call it. Generally don't need this large of a piece for just the one person but I like to double up the bottom on it because it's going to get direct heat from the hot plate so it just gives it a little bit of reinforcement versus a normal oven where you just have it sitting on a shelf where it's not getting direct heat. Then I like to put down my baby spinach, nice bed of baby spinach there on the bottom which is uh, it's going to give us a nice base and plenty of moisture and flavour on the bottom. So yeah, grab our mackerel fillet out. Uh, this is a large, pretty large fillet, but I'll eat all that. That's no dramas for me. So as you see, straight down on the bed of spinach. Gives plenty of moisture there. Um, and then salt and pepper it, obviously. It's a pretty large piece of fish. Plus we're not gonna get any sort of flavor or caramelization from the hot plate. So we need to make sure we put plenty of flavor in here. Next, grab some cherry tomatoes you don't need these particular cherry tomatoes but I just think they look amazing um, what I'll do is I'll cut those in half but you can just use normal tomatoes and cut them into quarters or slices or whatever you want the main thing is just keep everything really small um, so that it can cook you know in time with the fish you know what I mean you don't want your fish undercooked and everything overcooked or vice versa I'll just remove the tops there we'll slice these in half so we'll have six halves, which is almost perfect. And then we'll just stack them 
either side of our fish there. Uh, we'll chop up a bit of garlic there, just finely chop it. So shallot's different to an onion where the onion's, onion's more pungent, a bit more stronger. This is mild, sweeter, so right, I just chuck some thyme on there. Right, oh, almost there. We just need to cut some lemon, two slices of lemon, we'll chuck them on top there. And what the lemon will do in the heat there, it'll just all break down. So it'll be like really sweet and, and it'll just, you know, mo put moisture on top of that fish, put that flavour on top of the fish, take the stickers off, obviously. And then just to top it off, we chuck a couple of um, bits of butter on the, on the top there and that'll just all melt down through the whole thing. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to steam it in the paper. So basically just sealing in all the steam and the flavours and... And then, um, yeah, basically, you're good to go. Give it eight to 10 minutes. It's fish, it's fairly delicate, so I don't want to overcook it. But it is steamed, and, and those veggies and that that we've got in there, they'll give it a nice amount of moisture. And you just wait and see how this turns out. Like it's, it's amazing, it actually is amazing. And you'll hear it, you'll hear your fish, you'll hear it starting to steam. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But yeah, it'll steam in that package with all that moisture and a bit of butter in there and ooh, which is going to be good. So yeah, I'll see you in eight minutes and we will dig in. Alright, so we're at two minutes. So what I do then is I turn the barbecue off and I let it just sit there for two minutes with the hood down. Because we're still sitting at 150 degrees there in the barbie. So you just give it two minutes in there without any more heat and then we take it out and beautiful. And you just eat it straight out of the bag like that. It smells amazing. Like you just don't understand. You don't understand how soft that flaky that fish is. And you get a bit of a bit of that. Oh, a bit of onion. Oh, it's so hot. So that's like that is like so simple. That is like the most simple way to cook different but we did in real time that's quick it's like five minutes to prepare it's eight to ten minutes in there then you eat it in two minutes flat like it's that good so all up you've done under a half an hour pack it up no washing up which is fantastic for me <laughs> no washing up so anyways try it out i'm gonna eat the rest of this and i'll see you on another episode Clean, clean, barbecue, clean, amazing, so, see ya.